Hey guys, today we evolved Shiny Gabimaru, and he is Meta. Meta. Just take a look. Ooh, this is epic. So how does the attack look? Let's see the attack though. Oh, okay. Get the last hit in. Yeah. Boom! Gabimaru to finish it off. Let's get to the evolution. Let's evolve him. All right, I am unbelievably excited. There's only eight days left in the battle pass, as you guys can see right over here. So I'm very glad that we finally were able to get Gabimaru. And uh, let's just get him evolved right here. He's going to get 30% more attack, which is actually like the lowest I've seen so far. And he's going to get the attack Ninpo Pyro Blizzard. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. Dang. Look at this guy. It's like burning up. You know, I'm surprised that he's a Rose attribute because considering he has fire and he's from the anime Hell's Paradise and he has a lot of fire attributes in that anime as well. So it's very odd that they give him the Rose. Maybe because he'd be too overpowered otherwise. Gabimaro is a meta burn unit in the game. So let's go ahead and fuse him up with some of these other units and uh, get, up, get him up to a higher level. So we'll go ahead and time lapse to do this. So we're getting him up here to level 74, and 75 actually, and let me go ahead and feed him some some of the goods here. So we'll give him some pies, let's see, time pops. I think we're an issue to add all, just Well, it's too late now, so we got him up to level... 81 and that's all we're gonna do for now. He's probably gonna be doing some insane work on these troops Oh, and I want to see if he has a cosmetic so Ooh, This is epic oh, I'm on fire. Cool. You well, like, like it? it? Nice can't wait to get him. Yeah, you're super close. Oh, this is super close to getting him. She's on level 48 of the battle pass or uh, Yeah, level 48 yeah. and so she'll be getting there very soon, but look at this Wow. Really cool. like Alright, so apparently he's supposed to be meta. Let's jump into a game over here and see how good he really is. And let's see what the best strategy will be for Gobby Morrow. Oh, and guys, please let me know. Is this a good skin? I kind of think this is a good skin. I was using Kirito's skin for the summer event earlier, but I think after the summer event's done, I'm going to be keeping this one on. This is probably my favorite skin that I've gotten so far. Uh, if this isn't your favorite skin, then let me know which one is, and hopefully I can try to get it. Let's do a new level. We haven't done Hero City yet, so we're going to be jumping into the first level of Hero City and seeing if Gabimaru can do it by himself. Uh, I'm not going to take anybody else, so if there's flying units, Alice is going to be taking care of them, putting her units closer to the back so we can see what da Gabimaru is capable of. You're excited that it's My Hero Academia? I'm so excited. Isn't this your favorite anime? It is one of them, yes. <laughs> Why is this your favorite anime? I just really like the character development. Alright, so let's see what this map has for us. It looks very straight, which I don't know if that's good or bad, but we'll find out. So let's get started. His attack looks like it's a circle, so I'm gonna feel comfortable putting him down here in a curved area because that me. Oh, well, Wallace is gonna go ahead and take care of those guys, but uh, because he's in a curved area, or I'm sorry, because his attack is a circle like this, it makes sense to put him in a curved area because he'll have the most range to get as many people as possible. Don't forget that this is the shiny version of him too. Uh, if you guys buy the battle pass, then you're gonna get access to the shiny version. And look at this guy. This is incredible. That is a really cool attack too, okay. So let's see, we can upgrade and we're gonna be doing 9750 damage. Very good. I'm super curious if Gabimaru is gonna be able to do this by himself, considering you know these have been getting a lot harder since we started uh, you know, with the earlier ones, so, I mean, he's doing pretty well right now, but I have a feeling when the boss comes, we're gonna need some more help. Okay, so... I got you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Alright, as soon as this round ends, we're gonna be able to get his next upgrade, where he gets his special attack. 
and that's going to be Ninpo Flame Judgment, like the one that we saw in the upgrade table, or sorry, in the evolve table. And that is, that is a lot of damage with a decent range. Let's see how the attack looks though, because that, that is the true tell. I thought the name was different though. Ninpo. I thought it was Ninpo, but it's something else. Interesting. So, how does the attack look? Ooh. It's interesting. It's definitely not an Avdo fiery anger fire hurricane type of uh, attack, but this oh, is cool. <laughs> yeah, your Avdo is epic. Okay, so we're moving on to the next upgrade. It's upgrade number five, and he's doing nearly 40,000 damage every 7.2 seconds. Oh, so this is the one Pyro Blizzard. He's going to be going up to 44,000 damage. That's that's pretty good. I can see why he's a meta unit. And uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, he's also doing burn damage. And burn damage just essentially does more damage to the enemies per tick. And uh, it goes up with the, as many upgrades as you give him. And I think he kind of maxes out at like 38,000 burn damage per tick, which is a lot of damage. And uh, now I have enough for the final attack that he's going to get, that Gabimaro's going to get. So 44,000 damage, 6.7 seconds, and he just has a much bigger range. Like, look at this. This is massive. Let's see the attack, though. Oh, okay. Maybe I was talking trash on the attack uh, visuals too early. Look at that. That's really cool. I love that. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, wow, and the burn damage is actually helping a lot because he's not killing them on the first hit, but then, boom, oh. you get him. All right, your hawk can take care of those burn units. Oh, I shouldn't have given that away. You guys didn't know we got hawk yet in the last video that we made. See what you do? You see what you do? It's okay. It's like a, it's like a teaser. In the last video we made, we got two uh, hawk. What do you call it? Summer skins. And uh, we didn't actually have hawk to go with it. But <laughs> as soon as we ended that video, we went and got some tr some units from the summons, and we both got hawk. So, we're going to be showing them off very soon, and a bunch of our other summer skins. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned for the next episode. We're on the seventh upgrade for Gabimaru, and he's doing 53,000 damage, and the next upgrade, which I think we will get to, and it's probably his last, he's going to be doing 68,000 damage every 6.7 seconds, which, that's pretty good. That's about maybe 10,000 damage, a little more than that second. With the range being that high and the burn damage, I can see why he's a meta unit. He's pretty good. He's yeah. pretty good. And he's doing this by himself right now, essentially. He's not hitting the, the flying units, but I don't think any of the non-flying units are even getting by. So this is perfect. I know. And... And that burn damage coming through. And that's his final upgrade, so this is pretty much where he maxes out. He's a physical unit, so I don't have any, car or any units that can buff him right now. Though I am super excited to finally get one of those physical buffs. Those people have I been insane. Yeah, so let's see if he can take down the boss before it gets to Hawk. I think he can. 821,000 health. Let's see. And he does 68,000. He's going to be hitting him there. That's like. And he's walking that fast. Mm. Nah, Hawks is going to get a couple hits in, but he's probably going to be by half health, like right here in this little circle here. And then. Oh. Yeah, half health. As long as he gets hit right here. Okay, almost half. And then the other, he'll probably die like right up here. Which is just at the end of Gabimaru's range. I'm pretty confident he's gonna die there. Oh, and Opto. We have yeah, Opto back there. Him. No worries, nothing to worry about here. Come on, Gabimaru. Show us what you're worth. Nice. Show us what you're worth. Get the last hit in. Get the last hit in. Yes. Boom! Gabimaru to finish it off. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode of Gabimaru, Aesthetic Blaze. He's probably going to be one of my, you know, main units right now. Just because he's doing that burn damage. Like, he, this was an excellent display. I know that he's pretty good. I Oh, I clicked the wrong button. So, I know he has a lot of competitors and a lot of people say that Itachi might be better. Uh, I don't have Itachi yet though, so we're going to be sticking with him and we'll catch you in the lobby. Like I said, Gabimaru is definitely one of the most overpowered units I would have on my team right now. I have some pretty good shinies, but I would still put Gabimaru up there. 
Um, I don't know why so many people think he's not that good. I'm gonna have to play some more, and maybe I'll change my mind, and I'll definitely let you guys know if I do. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, also, I like to mention this, we love playing with everybody that we can uh, find. So if you guys are interested in playing with us, feel free to add either one of us. Our names are, you know, our Roblox names are as they show up there. So you can just search us up, add us, and join our lobbies anytime. We love playing with our friends. We play with them like pretty often. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, feel free and we'll catch you next time. Bye.